Welcome back, everybody. Do you happen to have a pair of pants that might be a little too long? Well, do not worry, because Orly Shani is here to show us how we can hem them to the perfect length. Welcome, Orly. All right. Hi, Hi. guys. Hi. So I hear this is a problem for you. Yeah, hashtag short people problems. Okay. <laughs> I'm five two, you so is Andrea. Andrea. Uh. So pretty much everything we buy, we have to hem. Even yeah. dresses, you know, not just pants. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's true. the thing, you know, when you think about it as a designer, when you're designing your pants, what you want is to be able to reach everybody. So you're always going to go a little bit longer in length. That way, those who need to hem it can, but those who are taller, I mean, they can't add. Well, there's some right? like you buy suit pants that no hem on it at all. Exactly. Right. They're, they're, just, raw. they're like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a little bit different for women's, you know, women's jeans or women's trousers. Generally, they come hemmed, and you either need to additionally hem them or just make it work with the right, right. pair of shoes. And right. if you're constantly hemming yourself, it can get pretty costly. Yeah. Yes. Like you're hemming yeah. everything yeah. you buy. Exactly. Exactly. You can't get taller. I mean, you you're, can't you're not going to grow anymore. Yeah, unfortunately. Surgery, unfortunately. <laughs> so I want to know the trick at home. How yeah. do I do it? So there's a couple of things to consider. First, um, you want to know about what type of pants you're hemming and where you're going to wear them. So when you guys are considering this, obviously, if you have, let's say, a pair of trouser, trousers and you wear them to work, maybe you wear flats to work, you're going to want to put them on with the flats that you would normally wear and pin them and look in the mirror. And what I generally do when I do that is I pin it. But, you know, obviously, when you bend down, the leg hikes up. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You bend down, you pin it, then you stand up, it'll go back down. Look in the mirror, whoop, a little bit more, pin it up a little bit more, and kind of go back and forth until, as you look in the mirror, it's right. So, what I have a question for you, ladies. This just realize you have to have pants for high heels and pants for flats? Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Yep. I mean, what? I don't know. I'm 6'10", so I, uh, right. it's so hard for you I have a hard time well. finding It's hard for you. You just you look need... shorter on TV. I'm 5'13". Yeah. 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 You, you can only yeah. shop at, like, the super stud store. Right. Well, that's right. where I do yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. I love Mark actually store. does the ads. Go? Yeah. Um, so you, you got started <laughs> earlier today. Yeah, so I just uh, I want to show real quick. We're going to show two ways to do it, because hemming jeans and hemming trousers are two entirely different methods. Oh, I hear you. Right, girl? Okay, so let's show. I'm going to show you got started on the jeans earlier today. So here are the jeans. Now, that's where I wanted them pinned. I had put them on. I knew that that was the right length. So you're going to fold it, like, inside out, basically, and you're measuring everything except for your existing hem because it's really important with denim to maintain that existing hem. If you get rid of it, it loses all that character. So you want to make it, you want to keep it. Next, with your sewing machine, you're going to swap out a regular presser foot for a zipper presser foot. That allows the needle to get right up to the edge of the fabric so you don't have a gap. Now you're going to sew in a, a similar color thread, either to your denim or that like yellow color, mm -hmm. all the way around. Yeah, isn't that cool? And when you fold it inside out, you now have that That's existing so hem. So if you look right here, this is the real hem, and this is the one that I hemmed. Wow. And there's like, so really, so see all that excess? No. There's yeah. really no choice, because you can't hem jeans without that kind of no. bottom. That's like the no. weird dad. Jeans. Yeah. yeah. And you have to yeah. use the sewing machine to do that. You do. This yeah. is one that you right. need. And you would then cut off all that excess. So this is something that you'll need a sewing machine for. Right. So the next time I come back, you'll teach me how to use a exactly. sewing machine. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's the okay. next show. I think but next time you come back, you should just bring me all your jeans. <laughs> and okay, I'll just put, you know, in the back. But yeah. this one, I don't need a sewing no. machine. Because I know how to sew by hand. You do. OK, okay you do. great. So, yes. Do you don't? Oh, oh, I can't sew a button. Oh, I'll teach you how. Oh. What? <laughs> After no. this, you'll be able to. It's really yeah. easy. Okay. Okay. It is, it is actually very that. easy. It just takes a little bit of patience. So okay. you can see here, this is the existing hem. Can you see those tiny little, see that? See how it barely picks up just a little bit of that fabric there? Okay, so this is what's considered a blind hem. And you can do this with a sewing machine, but you can also do it by hand. Great. What you're going to do is pin your fabric at the right length. This is how much I've decided to take off. You can see it all the way around. I'm going to press it. Now, pressing it does two things. It will create a crisp edge, which you want on the bottom of your trousers, a nice crisp edge. It also does half the work for you, because once this is pressed, it's not really going anywhere. It's got that nice crisp, crisp edge, and it allows you to do it by hand without as much precision, because you've already got like a guide. Yeah, so exactly. is, when yeah, you say it's going. a blind hem, does that mean you don't see any thread? Yes, that's exactly what, that's it, what means. it means. You're wow. picking up tiny bits of thread from the inside of the trouser, never reaching the outside. Because if you reach the outside, you're going to see those little tucks on the outside. Then it 
Then it's a miracle. Then it can, okay, so here we have this. Now, I'm going to start hand sewing it, but just so you can also consider this as another option, is you could, once you press it, you could put double stick tape all inside of you. Yes, oh. I do and that yeah. all the, yeah. the time. Yeah. And that's really good if you do want to wear a pair of hand pants with a different heel size. Yes. 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 So that oh, it's so not you can per undo a permanent that? Yes. Oh, so it, that's like a, a really great option. Not. If you're going to an event and you have great shoes and you want to show the ankle, you can hem them up a little bit, but then you can just let them right down. Yeah. But just do not hips. iron them after you've put the sticky tape on because it will ruin yes. your pants. Oh, I don't right. know well, that personally, but I, <laughs> someone told, told me that once. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so Candice, the first thing that you do is you create a knot at the end of your fabric, okay? So I mean at the end of your thread so that this is going to stick. Simple needle and thread. You always start right here where the side seam is okay. and you can go right through it because you're not going to see that. So we're going to pick it up just like this. And now to create a blind hem, you want to barely pick up any fabric. Flip that? it over and look. See, you can see that. That's not right. That's too much because it's come through the other side. So take it out. You want to just... Oh, wow, you're barely. so good at that. that. Okay. I mean, it so takes now, a lot of patience. You come you right back up here. Oops, I let go of it. I'm sorry. You know, while and the you kids are doing homework, you yeah. can just be sitting beside them and yeah, yeah. And, and this is your blind hem. Exactly, because once you've pressed it, you don't even need to pay that much attention because it's staying in place. You press so you it. You want to make sure you have the same color thread. You want black yeah, thread? You know, yeah, exactly. It, you want to match it. Match. How much money do you think we could save by doing this? How much do you think you spend when you hem your pants? It's probably around fifteen dollars for a very, at least here in yeah, LA, maybe yeah. a yeah. dry for one like pair of pants. For one pair of pants, and that's a simple hem. Exactly. Yeah, not, only not one layer, because if I it if, if it's lined on the inside, right, then, then it's, it's a more, double hem. It's very. And then yeah. that's more. It could be over twenty dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And getting, you know, um, this has a setting. If for those, you know, I know we have a lot of people at home who are really comfortable using their sewing machine. There is a blind hem presser foot and a blind hem stitch. So so for those who do have a sewing machine or who want to learn, this is something that you would do for you guys at home. You'll basically lay your fabric like this, sandwich it on the end, and when you put it through the sewing machine, it barely picks up that edge. 